Welcome to Atlanta's Commercial Real Estate Show, brought to you by Bull Realty, the show for property owners and business leaders. Host Michael Bull brings you market analysis, advice, and opportunities around Atlanta. Welcome to Atlanta's Commercial Real Estate Show. I'm Michael Bull. Today we're going to talk about the office market. You know, the office market in Atlanta has been pretty exciting, a lot of changes. There's been uh, uh, considerable over the last several years, uh, a lot of rental rate growth, uh, a lot of excitement in markets like Midtown and Buckhead and the perimeter. Uh, big companies coming to uh, make Atlanta the U.S. headquarters uh, like Mercedes. So uh, let's take a look at it. We have Barbara Denham with us. She's an economist with Reese, uh, and uh, Reese tracks uh, uh, the commercial real estate market all around the uh, country in different sectors. So, Barbara, thanks for joining us. Thanks for having me. So, Barbara, what did you see for rental rates, uh, occupancy, performance uh, in Atlanta uh, in 2017? Uh, you know, Atlanta's economy is really strong right now. It was very slow at the start of the expansion relative to other cities, but it um, it's had a really, really great uh, surge in the last year. Um, so the rent growth for this year is over 3% in the office market, 3.2%. So that is almost twice the national average. The vacancy, on the other hand, oddly enough, is still pretty high. It's above 18%. Uh, we definitely see that dropping in the next year or two because we do think that um, uh, net absorption will be much stronger. There is a lot of construction going on in the Atlanta office market. Again, this has been a, a late surge relative to other parts of the country. Um, but this is going to be ma matched by occupancy growth. I should also note that in terms of job growth, the Atlanta economy in, in, of the 82 markets that we track, job growth in Atlanta puts it at the fifth highest in the country with 84,000 jobs added in Atlanta this year. But in the office market, the office job growth ranks Atlanta second overall second. Um, wow. with about 35,000 jobs. So it's, a, it's one of the best markets in the U.S. for sure. Yeah, and that's interesting because it seems like a lot of people that maybe weren't interested in even uh, moving their headquarters to Atlanta or investing in real estate in Atlanta wasn't considered you know, one of the big five markets, are now kind of considering Atlanta. So how has that impacted investment sales that, that you've seen in Atlanta? Um, well, the investment sale market is doing well there. Again, it's a, um, it, it was slow to emerge, but I think a lot of people see Atlanta as one of the stars in 2017, so there's a lot more investment interest, and we've seen um, a slight decline in overall um, uh, cap rates in Atlanta in general. So it's, it's again, one of the better markets, and I think going forward it will continue to um, be one of the better investment markets just because we see uh, that job growth, um, and usually there is a delay, there's a lag between job growth and office market leasing and absorption because uh, tenants like to fill their desks first and then decide to expand their uh, footprint. Um, so I, I think in terms of uh, the outlook, it's definitely as strong in Atlanta as it's ever been, and it's even more so relative to other cities right now. Yeah. We're talking with Barbara Denham with Reese about the Atlanta office market. So, Barbara, we talked about this on the, on the national scale, but when you, when you look at the Tax and Jobs Act that just passed, um, how might that impact the Atlanta office market moving forward? Well, um, it's tough to say how we'll uh, decide on a case-by-case uh, -case basis, but, you know, there's a lot to consider in terms of, you know, there's the 1031 exchanges, which help um, investors, uh, you know, there was a fear that they would take away that tax break, which uh, defers capital gains on the sale of an investment. But now that that's preserved, I think the uh, going forward, there will be more um, you know, there, there won't be as much of a break in the investment sales that may have been stalled at the end of 2017. Uh, I think for the rental market, the apartment rental market, it'll still stay strong because, you know, when they doubled the standard deduction uh, in the tax bill, that gap of homeowners who are considering buying a house to get the deduction on their interest will say, well, wait a minute, if they're doubling the standard deductions, it doesn't work in my favor to deduct interest because it's lower than the standard deduction now. So it actually might hurt the housing market, but then it will help the apartment market. So there's a lot to consider. Um, and I think overall with the increase in consumer confidence with um, 
A, the lower tax rates on corporations and the, uh, the, the lower rate on, ta- on pass-throughs and the overall uh, you know, net gain for consumers overall will be positive in Atlanta like it is going to be everywhere. So I think, but I think the fact that we're already, uh, there's already an upswing in Atlanta, it will probably have an even more positive impact there. Yeah, that's a good point. I mean, if you look at sports, you know, you look at momentum, you know, when a team gets mm-hmm. momentum, and it seems like what you described here when you compare Atlanta uh, to other markets around the U.S., Atlanta certainly has a lot of momentum. It does. That's exactly what it has. Yeah, and you, you have companies like, uh, like I mentioned, uh, Mercedes coming here. That's got mm-hmm. to send a, send a statement uh, around the country. So overall, then, if you looked at um, Atlanta and you were talking to our audience about uh, – investing in the office market in Atlanta. It looks like you got a lot of positives, right? You got the Jobs Act, you've, you've got momentum, um, but you still have, I guess, the negative of, of vacancy still hasn't declined that much. Uh, mm-hmm. so, so what would you say to investors looking at Atlanta uh, for, for growth in, for the years to come? Well, you know, maybe for investors, it's, it's a tough call because with a high vacancy rate, um, that keeps a lid on rent growth because, you know, you can't raise rate, rates that dramatically um, with this elevated vacancy rate. But I think we might see a, a more dramatic change in 2018. So for investors, I would say, you know, there, there's probably an opportunity there. You just have to do your research. Some some markets uh, might be better than others. Some, some markets, some neighborhoods will be better than others. I think as, um, you know, I had a conversation with someone I know, you know, all these uh, transit-oriented developments near, like, the Marta stations, those are probably tremendous opportunities because people do want to have the convenience of, um, you know, taking this public transportation to work, but it's too hard still. But if you develop more towards the uh, the Marta stations, you know, there's a, a critical mass there. So I think there are tremendous opportunities in Atlanta. You just have to do your research. Yeah, that's a good point. And uh, I'm hopeful that uh, there's still continued to be more development around uh, the Marta stations and around Atlanta. Well, Barbara, thanks for joining us. We appreciate you being on the show. My pleasure. If you'd like to know more about the office market in Atlanta, a certain sub-market, a certain building, uh, reach out to me. And uh, thanks for joining us. And until next time, make sure you always lead, learn, and laugh and join us for Atlanta's Commercial Real Estate Show.